Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to the shed. Very, very, very exciting night for me anyway, at least tonight. Uh, as you can see, I've got a bit of stuff let out. I have an engine crane, I have an engine, I have a flywheel and I have a clutch. So if you take a minute and think about what will happen when all of those parts come together, tonight I'm planning to put the engine into the car. All going well, the engine and gearbox will be in this car tonight. So I uh, picked up the engine crane during the week had to get a new clutch. Uh, clutch came in from uh, Limerick Brakes. Dave Casey and said, Limerick Brakes, you're an absolute legend. Thank you very much. He saw the last video and he rang me and said there was a clutch there if I wanted it. So there we go. Um, brand new clutch and pressure plate. I have my uh, four EFTE flywheel, standard flywheel, not light and there nothing fancy like that. Uh, just cleaned up the surfaces on it. Uh, this flywheel actually came with the engine when it was all in parts, so it's untested to me, but seems okay. I have flywheel bolts, have all of that, have the engine, have everything ready to go, and I am buzzing. I'm very, very, very excited about this. Uh, the plan for tonight is I need to get the alternator onto the engine, I need to get the flywheel and clutch all mounted up, I need to get the gearbox onto it, and then hopefully it just goes into the car, and then I can look at it and just be happy. <laughs> um, obviously it's not ready to run or to be wired in and that but it's a big enough goal tonight to just get this to get all of this into the car and then start worrying about everything else after it. If I have it in and bolted in place I will be I will be very very happy. Uh, one other thing then that's very exciting again to me and hopefully you will find it ex exciting is I showed you a couple of images in the last video of stickers that I'm after getting or that I was going to be getting made up and now I have them. So look at these. So I got two different variants. I have uh, a Joy GT uh, logo fairly much, which is the, which is obviously just the car with a bit of a background and tag underneath. And then I have another sticker that's just the outline of the car itself. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I think they come out quite well. So, uh, I'm going to be offering these, I suppose, to anyone that maybe enjoys the channel or enjoys the content and maybe wants to support this, this is the way of doing it. I'm going to have a link in the description of my YouTube channel and also of my Instagram. So if you're a follower here or not on the Instagram or if it's the other way around, be sure to click the two of them. I'll have links in this. Uh, I'll get everything posted out as soon as I possibly can. I have a limited enough number of these to start off with just as a tester. If you like them and if things go well, I will get more. I'll get more artwork and stuff done up. I'm in the middle of getting a bit of artwork done up uh, of just the 4 EFT engine, uh, which is going to be fairly cool. So yeah, I am buzzing about them. It's something that I've always kind of wanted to try and do. So hopefully you'll appreciate it and you'll jump on and be able to pick yourself up a, a Joy GT sticker. So I'm not going to do a huge amount of talking today. I want to just crack in, get stuff done, there's one or two of the lads possibly calling on as well to give me a hint, so it'll be more time lapses and just getting stuff done and getting this engine into the car, so let's get at it.
Blueprint. What what language is that in? Flavored side. <coughs> it definitely makes a difference. Yeah. Let's put it in the right way. I'd say that it's way. that way because it looks inherently that one goes in, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, the other way. Yeah, the other way. That's what I'm saying. Fucking idiot. You could be onto something here, Joe. Bends the ticket. Hang on now, because my fingers are just perfectly pinched. Yeah? Yeah. Done it. See, I have to drop the door as well. So she's up a little bit too high there. The clutch? Yes, sir. Didn't you write it? She's caught over here. Have you chased it? Get over here. I don't want to rub them out. We don't use them around here. Just the and tape. Yeah. Get me an extension and I can show it in and be fucking... It's a bit, a bit more pliable. Mm. <laughs> I'd say she's not a million miles away. Looks like it's kind of... Seriously, put it on my wrist. See the hammer, I'm not a push now, they smile, sir. I know, but I just want to get it. I'm going to trade you. You kind of want him a smile, but I've seen it anyway. Oh, yeah. This isn't the central. Oh, no, I should have. Oh, 
And if there isn't, I, I make it. Uh, Lads, I have to say, I'm elated. <laughs> I am elated. Now, is you ready to be trap? Trap or to the schnaz? Mm. Hey, imagine if the whole car was tilted forward. Straight away. <laughs> <laughs> I had to come back to Kendrick if you hadn't put the intervention. Oh, bye. Just for a size comparison, that's a four foot tall man. <laughs> Holding the two stickers, so you have an idea what size they are. Oh man. <clears throat> it's in. The engine and gearbox are in the car. I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing over it. Um, yeah, the, the, I'd say the leads are gone away probably the last hour, and I've been sat there just staring at this thing. Um, might look like a huge amount, but to me, it's been in my head for so long and now it's here in front of me. Uh, a huge um, milestone. Like it looks like a massive thing to have the engine in and it looks like now it's not a million miles away. There's still a huge amount of work to go into this to get it running. Uh, and, I'm, and I know that and I'm fine with that. But it's very, very, very rewarding to finally have this thing in, to have it all put together, to have had a class night in the shed with device and to have got a load of stuff done. Um, like one of the lads there, Shane, was in Canada for the last 18 months and today in the shed was the first time I met him since he came home. He's going back on Tuesday and he just came in, talked shite for half an hour and then bang, <laughs> got straight into work. Had a great crack. Um, did, as I said at the start, probably mostly just time lapse because we were talking so much shit he wouldn't be able to listen to it. But uh, yeah, got everything done. Uh, clutch flywheel all that stuff on very nearly forgot the dust cover but we didn't we got it on um just if anyone was looked at the gearbox going on and probably the dust shield, dust shield and thought it looked maybe a little bit rough uh i know that and it's not going to be the end the end uh, goal i suppose or the end finish uh what i plan to do is the gearbox that you see me put in there is the standard gearbox that came with this car with the non-turbo engine, the 1.3 non-turbo engine. Uh, so if you're wondering that, it does mate up. It's after going in no problem at all, no messing at all, just straight on with a 4E FTE uh, flywheel and clutch. So you can do that. But what I want to do is use what I have as proof of concept really and get it run and then hopefully be able to buy a Glenza gearbox, maybe an LSD gearbox if budget allows it and get some drives for it and take everything apart when I buy it, vapor blast everything, get everything painted, everything absolutely mint and then once I know that the car is up and running and everything is fine, then we can worry about that stuff. So for now it'll do grand, I know it doesn't look great but it's not going to be there forever. So yeah, I'm really 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 happy, the engine is in, it's in the car, it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, 
buzzing. A million more things to do. The whole thing needs to be plumbed in. I need to run all my brake lines. I need to put my fuel pressure regulator. I need to get the boost solenoids. There's a million things to do. A million and one things to do. But we have made serious progress. It's so nice to look at this thing and see the colour schemes coming together. See all the nice and clean vapour blasted stuff come together and just look well and done inside in the car. Um, some stuff, I suppose, has been sitting for so long. Like this engine is probably built about a year, no more than that. It's probably built even two years um, and it's set in the shed. So small bit of stuff after rusting there, I'll redo that. The cover had bird droppings on it and it's kind of after etching in, but I have a race spec valve cover that I need to finish up and that will go in place here with a breeder catch can out to the side. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I shaved where the, the battery tray plate or the battery tray, I got that cleaned up uh, and removed fairly much because I do plan on having the battery in the boot, but again, to hardly get it running, the battery might just sit there or sit on the floor um, just to get the thing going. Uh, I was talking to EPU Iron today, they're doing a bit more work to my loom, that'll be back to me, but that's not even the determining factor. I've that I'll have that loom back and I'll still have a hundred things to do. But just class night in the shed, class night with the boys, talking nonsense, getting stuff done. And yeah, I'm really, really, really happy. I'm really happy. Um yeah, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Um I hope you get a bit of a buzz like I did of seeing this thing going in. Um and let me know what you think. If you think it, the colour scheme is nice, let me know. If you think I need to change anything or if you have any suggestions please let me know i love hearing all your comments i will try to reply to absolutely every single one of them um i said earlier on as well about the stickers and the bit of merch that we have um i'll have a link in the description for that i am going to link my instagram as well because probably some of you are following me on this and not on instagram and i kind of post a little bit more regular updates on instagram so be sure to check that out there as well um yeah if you like what you see Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, um, it's classy and subscriber numbers coming up, we're over 500 now. So we're gaining um, traction there the whole time, which is brilliant and it's really cool to see. So I was buzzing to come here tonight to get this done. It was my goal to get this in the car, no matter what time it was. It's not outrageously late, but it's in. Um, I'm going to turn off the camera, I'm going to stand here and probably drool a little bit more over it. Uh, I'm really, really happy. This is the biggest step I've been able to take forward now in a long while, so it's very rewarding to see. Um, the shed is destroyed. I'm not cleaning it tonight. I'll come back another time and clean it. And I'm going to be cracking on with this thing now. I'm freshly motivated for this car again, so I'm going to be trying to get here whenever I possibly can, start plumbing this thing up, order up whatever bits I need, and just get it done. Um, the next goal is to hear this thing running. We're a small bit away from it yet, and I want to be realistic about it, but um, yeah, we're getting there, and I am buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing over this thing, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. I really enjoyed making it. really enjoyed being here with the boys, and um, yeah, I got my Joey GT merch stuck on my fridge, so now we must be official YouTubers or something now that we have that. Um, so yeah, again, thanks a million for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for being here for this journey, and... Um, we're only getting started, so I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.